All right, the preview on my camera is screwed up here, so let me just go ahead and do it. Uh, iView is one of the uh, uh, major manufacturers of uh, camera glasses. I know if they're the major or most major, but it's the one I'm most familiar with and the one I've purchased most often. This is an ancient version of that I have view. I think it's 1080p. Not exactly sure because it's been a long time since I've got it, had it. Uh, but the main thing with these uh, with these I view cameras is um, I like simplicity, and, and I will. And my quality sometimes suffer because I really don't have time to set up, set up shots, etc. So I'm a I love cameras. Not great cameraman. The process. The process of, of doing videos is a pain in the butt to me, uh, but I love the equipment, so I do it anyway. And I don't mind don't mind creating videos, really, really. But I just want to just uh, mention that it's always a little bit easier to uh, to to just look at the equipment. This iView is supposed to be the 4K version, HD 4K, 24 frames per second. Okay, that's okay. 1080p, 60 frames per second. That's good. 70 degree angle, IP66 weather resistant, etc. And I've also used this in these in uh, various weather conditions as well. So I, so far I haven't dropped them in a puddle, and I'm pretty sure dropping any either of these in a puddle would be the death of the camera. But uh, uh, I have been able to handle what do you call it? standard rain circumstances standard situations where there's been cloud bursts or I just don't try to run out in the rain all the time. In any case, I want to take a look and compare these two because these this one is a couple of generations behind. This thing's got to be two and a half, three years old. Let me, let me take a quick look and do a quick comparison. Uh, very similar, very similar layout. Uh, I do see a slight difference in the lens, uh, but I don't think it's a yeah, it's it's a difference in the lens coloration, so I'm not sure, but it is uh, the iView. If you can see that, that is the uh, the uh, I guess it's their corporate logo. I think I also have it on the wait a minute. Okay, the corporate logo on these, and uh, the other I think the old logo was different. Not sure. In any case, it's a it, it, they're almost identical in the way they are. The way they're set up. Uh, I don't know if this thing has a. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it's almost exactly the same. I think that's basically just a standard configuration. I'm sure this is the same manufacturer, even though the the names are slightly different. But I just want to give this one a try, and you'll be seeing this off and on. But because there's no stabilization, I always suffer a little bit when I use this uh, this type of camera. My borderline tolerable. Uh, uh, video skills uh, become a little bit less tolerable when uh, when I have jerkiness because these are on your eyes and I don't know the mechanics of uh, of stabilization and if they can be built into glasses yet I'll try these and see how they work but the first stabilizer version of camera glasses I will pay a lot more than I should assuming I'm still employed at the time for those because if you could just put these on and just view the world and then edit it down it'd be perfect in any case I want to I'll be using these in the near future these are iView uh, and uh, as if you didn't know by the name uh, and uh, by the name on the uh, on the glasses uh, case uh, so I'm gonna be using these and getting it at yeah, and of course on the bag I'll be getting these out and getting some use out of these since it's still horrible outside. I might take another walk, very short walk in the winter wonderland out there. Uh, but uh, if not, I'll do it when the winter wonderland goes away. I'll be celebrating so loudly. But like I said, it offers 4K. Uh, not sure if this is the 4K. Pretty sure it's not the 4K I would get because I'm using this relatively high-end GoPro for this uh, for this video, but uh, you know, we'll see how it works, and and we'll see what kind of size files it generates. Because I don't know exactly the. I'm sure it's at least uh, 64 to 128 meg capacity to be able to hold 
a 4K video. I'll have to, I'll have to examine that and make sure. I, if I get the information, I'll put it up in a tag uh, above this particular thing. If not, you'll probably see it in a subsequent video. So watch more of my videos. Anyway, that's all I've got. I will uh, be back with you uh, with you shortly. I'm doing more or less a video a day or every two days during the the current snow apocalypse in Texas. By the time you see this, it'll be a, it'll be an ancient history because I believe we're heading up toward freezing. We're in our 20s. If we can just get into 35s or 38s and get this crap to melt, I will be so happy. You have a wonderful day, and I will uh, talk to you later.